The one secret most employees don't know about money At the beginning of the 17th century, nobody in the world was unemployed. Nobody was unemployed because nobody was trained to be employees. Our forefathers worked for themselves. That idea seems foreign today as almost everyone in the world wants a good job. But then, everyone worked for himself. Because everyone wants a job in today's world, the demand for a job is even higher than the numbers of jobs and to even make our case worse, every day we invent the machines, technologies and automation process to do the jobs which humans were once doing. Hence, employers are less willing to pay employees what the employees think they deserve. To deal with this pathetic situation, many employees I know decide to get more degrees, thinking that if they have more qualifications or work two jobs, they will be rich. Well, that's not true and I'll prove that to you in this video. I'll also show you the one secret most employees don't know about money. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing, the one secret most employees don't know about money is that you can never work hard enough to be rich nor can your degree make you rich. Hard work and the limitation of time you must have heard a lot of people encouraging that if you could work hard enough, you'll be rich. The problem with this advice is that your time is limited. Not only your time but also your bones and brain power. Here's the thing, even if you are the strongest person among us, you can work for 18 hours in a day. As long as you still wake up every day to work for every dollar you spend, you can never be rich. You can never be rich because modern life is extremely expensive. Think about how our forefathers lived Our forefathers lived mostly in the village. The implication of that was that they could plant yam, corn and every other food they wanted to eat. Most of them never had to pay for rent and no power or water bill. Their children hardly go to school and if they wanted to, the public school would do and it was often free. I lived my first decade in a village and I had a taste of it. My entire family probably never spends $1,000 in any year I lived in the village because we had no power bill, we paid no mortgage, never paid for water or any bill and we planted almost all our foods. Life was very cheap but those days are long gone. Today, you need a whole lot of money to live a meaningful life and if you think you could work hard enough to make such money, you probably don't get the math. So, if hard work isn't the way, what then is the way to wealth? Leverage Leverage Leverage, that is the solution. The problem about jobs is that it doesn't matter how good the job is, you can't work while you're not working. Because you can't work while you're not working, you can't make money while you're not working. Let me explain this. Leverage is the ability to work while you're not working. Leverage is the ability to make money while you're not working. Tell me anyone who ever got rich or wealthy and I'll prove to you that he or she has a huge leverage. Leverage is the foundation of wealth creation. Nobody can ever become rich without good understanding and usage of leverage. It doesn't matter how hard you work. The math is actually very simple. As at the time of making this video, I run three businesses with employees handling different parts of the business. If you are my employee, for instance, I could give you a raise for whatever reason but your raise will never still mean that you could make money while you're sleeping and such raise is not likely going to be 100% increase on your last paycheck. However, when you see this game from the other side, from the side of an entrepreneur, it looks like this. I own three businesses. We have three different websites which promote our businesses 24 hours a day. We use different apps, software and plugins which all works 24 hours every day. We have employees who do different things for each of our businesses. Because of all these leverage, I can achieve in a day 10,000 hours worth of work even if I only work 5 hours. If you want to be rich, your goal should never be to get a better job, work 2 jobs or work 20 hours every day. Your goal should be to work 1,000 hours every day while you only work 5 hours. The only way this is possible is to make other people and technologies work for you. 
Don't think this is hard. Whenever I talk about leverage, I usually sense that some people think that the magic is beyond them and that they can never do it. <laughs> well, our woe started at the dawn of the industrial revolution. We started having a way to mass produce everything and we needed factory workers. Because the industrialists needed factory workers, they used their power and money to influence the public education so that every kid will be trained to be a machine and that exactly is what has happened since over 150 years now. Today, an average human being who graduates out of college is a machine. That's what he has been trained to be. He can only obey orders. He can only show up in the office and follow the rules. He can only be part of the corporate system. He can never build a system. He can never build a system not really because he can't but because he was never taught or encouraged to do it. Just become a good student. Study hard and get good grades. If you can make it to get a Harvard degree, all your money problems are gone. That's what we were all told. But you can change your mindset. Over a decade ago, I discovered this very truth I am sharing with you now. I was in a school studying to be an accountant and my goal was to get every degree I could possibly get as fast as I could get them so that I'll be a respected member of the society and make a lot of money. However, after a lot of studies, I discovered that the path I had chosen would never give me the leverage to work a thousand hours a day and so I may not be rich. I made the U-turn and started preparing for the world where little work leads to much success. That journey wasn't easy but I did it because I wanted to. If you want to, you can do it. The world is open now. We are hyper-connected. The information is everywhere. You can learn a new skill, you can start a side hustle, you can save and invest in a startup, you can use the internet to promote your little business, you can use the social media, Google or even YouTube as leverage to make money while you are sleeping. The options are much but you have to be open and determined because it won't happen very quickly. You must know what you want to achieve. You don't want to work hard all your life for money. You want to learn how to manufacture money. No job in the planet can allow you to be a manufacturer of money because no job gives you that leverage to work a thousand hours each day. To be rich, you have to know how to manufacture money and that means you have to know how to make money while sleeping. To do this, you have to create something, solve some problems and employ other people to work in the system you've created. If you think employing others is a crime against your conscience, then employ the technologies. Learn how to use various apps, search engines, social media, artificial intelligence and others to promote yourself, products or services. Don't ever forget this, though most employees think that they could be rich if they work hard, it's a dream that may never come to pass. Some think that more degrees will solve the problem. Again, it won't. The only solution is the leverage. You must learn how to manufacture money. You must learn how to get other people and various technologies to work hard for you. You must learn how to use other people's money, time and brain power. You must learn how to use leverage or you'll be broke forever.